Hi guys, I'm back with another reading and the song I heard for you today was by Ross and it's called 315 Breathe. So that was quite a difficult song to sing because obviously they use like synthesizers and stuff like that in their lyrics but I just got a strong energy there of like balloons like um, laughing gas energy i'm hearing smart whip energy so you might be someone who takes those sort of things you and someone but i'm getting a toxic relationship energy here so you might have you know like an addictive personality i'm picking that up strong here i feel like a rebel sort of energy like you rebel against the norm or you try different things with your person but i'm definitely getting like heated debates that you might have so you might you know be intoxicated while you're having these heated debates i feel an energy of like rushing or I definitely feel an energy of like you know like breath like shortness of breath as well so block throat chakra energy you might not be able to express how you feel in a normal sort of manner this might you know cause chaos when you are intoxicated with your person i've got an energy of some sort of session energy here which always sort of blows up i'm hearing gaslight you so someone might gaslight you or you gaslight them but i'm getting an energy of two people who just keep bouncing off each other with toxic sort of insults i'm hearing accusations i'm hearing insane and insanity energy here so I see a lot of breakups, arguments I'm hearing as well, chaos and calamity, my guides just said. But I feel like you two are being invaded in some sort of way. This could be some sort of spell or, you know, one of you or both of you are always watching other people. I'm seeing that as well. And that causes like a blockage in your relationship. I definitely sense the energy of something like sort of happening happening to you i'm hearing an alter ego energy so you may be connecting with low vibrational people or you may be being manipulated or you're manipulating your person i'm seeing that as well i feel like an energy of manipulation of gaslighting this could be a narcissist you're dealing with someone who keeps on breaking up with you every time you get close to them they cause some sort of stir or create some sort of stir to keep you stuck and I feel that energy of spirit telling you to release this person with the free will card here because I feel like you keep going on an everlasting cycle with this person I've also got an energy of like the tiled floor here something to do with some sort of corporation this could be a secret society or you two have secrets I'm hearing Illuminati energy one or both of you could be being you know spiritually played with by Illuminati I'm seeing that as well and I feel like it's because you have a royal bloodline here and someone or some sort of forces are trying to stop you guys I'm seeing that as well I feel the energy of you two sort of you know you're together but you act like you're single so you may be stuck in a situation where you've tried to you know give love to someone so much that now you're starting to reject that person or you know every time you know you show love to this person they sort of push you away I'm hearing push you over the edge so I'm definitely seeing a toxic cycle that needs to end here I'm hearing calamity again I'm hearing calamity Jane that could be significant yes yeah, so I'm getting heavy throat chakra blockage energy you know your life is like a movie right now but you're not allowed to speak your truth in this relationship or you're 
speaking your truth and you know your voice is going that's what i'm picking up as well this could be due to shouting i'm seeing hormone energy and i'm seeing like one sort of flaring so you two could end up fighting quite a lot or hurting each other this is definitely an abusive toxic cycle that you're in that you need to release from your life here and i feel like spirit doesn't really want to push any more cards out here the the sort of message is to release yourself from this person because it's become a toxic game here a toxic cycle that needs to end here and you need to sort of you know let go of this person with the sacrifice energy i feel like you're holding on to something something dead that's what i'm hearing it's like when someone says i'm dead it's like that energy like you're dead in this relationship or this relationship is over it's dead it's toxic and it's time to stop sort of continuing this cycle that you're stuck in because i feel like you're addicted to this cycle and the influence and the impact it's having on both of your lives is very low vibrational i'm getting a karmic energy i'm hearing karmic twin flame so you're in this relationship to learn lessons and one of those lessons is to let go and another lesson is that you have a highly sort of codependency on on each other or on this toxicity where you know you're addicted to that toxic sort of energy now like without it like you're not the same or you know you need this sort of energy so it's like energy vampire sort of vibes i'm picking up here or you're so trained to react to this abuse that you just keep reacting and it's just getting out of control i'm hearing out of hand and i'm seeing like an obsession with each other like you know you're constantly watching each other or you're constantly sort of leaving each other and then overthinking or when you're together you're sitting there you're overthinking every sort of scenario because you've tried to give love to this person and they keep pushing you away you're constantly wondering what what you could have done is there someone else like you know maybe there has been other people and that's caused a lot of obsession as well i definitely see an addiction here this could be to like i said some sort of substance like laughing gas or this could be just that you know you have some sort of obsession with each other or with this toxic environment that you're in i definitely feel like whenever you're or away from this person you're sort of craving them craving them to love you and then you tell yourself you don't love them anymore and you're just constantly going round and around in circles and in cycles none of you sort of you know stick to any rules of the relationship you constantly hurting or breaking each other you know it's just a low vibrational energy and i feel like an energy of like how on earth or satan sort of clapping every time you two have some sort of breakup is like gang gang that's how he's going on because you're doing his work for him by hurting and betraying each other constantly i'm seeing that as well i'm hearing team god only so your guys want you to turn to god sort of work on yourself what has caused these rifts and you know it's stay away from each other if you are in this breakup energy you will go back to the same toxicity again and again until you release yourself or release this person i mean it's time to let go that's what i'm picking up here especially of the addictions as well which could be causing this anger issue or could be causing you both to be non-committal or 
violent. I'm seeing a lot of violence here and I'm feeling like a heavy sort of head here. So this could be the calm down energy when you break up with each other or this could be, you know, just constantly at each other's throat. So I'm going to ask for some advice for you guys to see what spirit wants you to do. What's the next step, please, spirit? I'm here and avoid each other like the plague. Block, delete. Assign yourself to a new beginning. That's what spirit's advice is so far. I'm seeing an energy of energy vampires like you drain each other to death. So I've got the number four here. So the number four is significant. You could have a child that's four that's in this mix as well. I'm here and assert yourself. It is time to move outside of your comfort zone. See, spirit's telling you to move, move out, move on, move forward. You know, block and delete. I've got an energy of the Kundalini rising, but it's blocked because you're with the wrong person. You're with a false twin. That's what I'm hearing. So that's the advice. It's time to step outside your comfort zone. Whatever you're turning to for comfort, even if it's this person, it's not good for you no more. And it's time to put that sword in. It's time to, you know, bang that hammer down. It's it's the end of the road that's what i'm picking up here it's time to release this person this could be retrograde energy I'm seeing that as well endings and new beginnings or people that just keep coming back into your life to start another karmic cycle need to be released that's what i'm picking up here and i'm hearing childhood issues so you both could be living or moving through your childhood trauma here i'm hearing toxic sort of childhood trauma that's on repeat here and i definitely see you both holding on but you're holding on to nothing with the four of pentacles energy this is just keeping you both stuck in the same energy where your mind is just full of haze and confusion this could be drugs as well affecting your heart or you both have a heart blockage where you can not listen to your intuition follow your guidance or love you just completely cold and blocked off from love and i sense the energy of you both being ungrounded quite a lot i'm seeing fight or flight mode that you're in all the time so you might be always on guard always ready to kick off always ready to throw one another out always ready to have some sort of session which ends up in tears i'm hearing and half the deck fell out so i'm just going to take those cards we got the devil in reverse this relationship will be the death of you or the other person if you do not release them because the toxicity is killing you both and i feel an energy of different people have come between you both as well on this journey and that could be killing you too like seeing who this person's cheated on you with or they're seeing who you're cheating with or you're constantly both on a cheating cycle keep hurting and trying to love each other after what you've done that's what i'm picking up here and i feel the energy of your chakras need working on here or you're definitely needing to put some work into your life to build something i'm hearing plant a new seed and watch that seed grow here so i definitely feel like once you release this person you're stepping to a garden of new opportunities and you'll be able to build something you know structured with the seeds that you're sowing otherwise you're just going to be stuck in the past i'm hearing in a 
a violent relationship, karmic and toxic. And there's a lot of people that are always getting their nose into your relationship or coming between you. I'm seeing a lot of sexual relationships, different sort of substances you're taking to sort of suppress your emotions. So I see it in a battle as well as an outer battle. There could be battles online as well. That's what I'm picking up. This energy has you in the reverse. That's what I'm picking up here. You and this person need to release each other. Otherwise, the vibration is going to stay low. You're going to be stuck and nothing is going to grow in your life. That's what I'm picking up. No matter what you try here, you might start off positively and by the end of the night, you've forgotten who you are again and you're back to the same energy. I'm feeling like a, a drunk or sort of wavy vibe here just talking so you're definitely taking things or this person you know provides you with those things so they could be someone who sells these substances I'm seeing that as well someone who's always bringing you what you need to sort of survive here but I feel like it's time to let go of those things or it's time to let go of the money or the gifts this person has for you because they're coming forward in like a childish energy i also see a child here who's pleading for their mother and father to just get on and you may get on better without each other that's what i'm picking up as well I definitely feel like you're in a low vibrational stuck energy this person could have had a child with somebody else as well i'm seeing that too or they already had a child so there's definitely a toxic sort of baby mother involved in this whole scenario as well and I definitely feel like this person still revisits that person and that person could have come between your relationship that's what I'm picking up so there could be back and forth between you and someone else or you're going back to a baby father that you once was with I'm seeing that too so you may have you know some sort of third party involvement on both sides here I'm seeing just nothing but a karmic scenario here and I definitely feel like work is important to you you need to work on yourself though you know going to work and avoiding whatever you know you need to do is is not helping you because when you're at work you cannot sort of think straight you're constantly in your head in your thoughts in your mind and this person's constantly trying to help you grow as well so you could have your own business and this person's that sort of support for you or your ch child or children I'm seeing that as well and you might just stay together for that reason but I feel like it's you know it's really affecting your feelings it's affecting in your emotions you're constantly stuck up in your mind look at how much things are going round and round in your mind and you cannot move you cannot move forward you cannot think straight and it's all to do with your roots your root chakra this blockage in your heart as well I see you know chakras need to be worked on here too because you've caused a lot of emotional blockages and it could be a root repeat of past lives, a repeat of your childhood, what you've seen, what you've been through, where you've been, you're constantly repeating that and so is your person and you're waiting and waiting for change but no change is coming in, that's what I'm picking up here, I definitely feel like you could be someone in the spotlight, you're someone who has some sort of, you know, you're a star you're someone who has some sort of talent something that you know makes you great here but i feel like these sort of you know influences like drugs or different things are affecting you i've also got an energy of some sort of spell here this could be like i said some sort of secret service controlling one or both of you here to make sure that you two sort of end in tears i'm 
I'm seeing a lot of tears here and I definitely feel like, you know, once you leave this person, you're going to blow up as a star because you'll retrain yourself and start a new life full of skills, full of, you know, the life that you should be leave, living, full of passion. I'm seeing someone who, you know, has a, a real divine partner out there somewhere but they just haven't found them yet because they haven't stepped into their purpose i've got a strong energy of god watching you as well and god you know not happy i'm seeing the energy of him you know sort of fuming every time you two reconnect as well but i definitely feel like he's trying to call you towards your purpose as well at the same time you know there's an energy of protection over you it could be because you're a star seed i'm seeing that as well you're supposed to be in your divinity right now or you started off like that before you met this person but i feel like you know you're both trying to control each other to the point where you know there's nothing left to prove here there's nothing more to sort of you know do here it's sort of like i said it's it's dead now this relationship is you know there's nothing left other than save yourself here okay so i'm going to leave it there i hope this message helps you and if you'd like you know a personal reading please email me my details are in the description box below okay so bye guys